So what I'll do is drop a movie onto this first drop zone to see what happens. So I'm going to come over to the left hand side to my utility pane. I'm going to click on where it says movies and then within there there's some footage. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to drag and drop it on the screen. Now when you're dragging onto the screen here you've got to wait for it to highlight. If I drag and drop it there it misses the drop zone and it drops it wherever it likes. I'll just undo that. And if I drag it in again, what I'm looking for is for it to highlight. You can see that's gone yellow and it will tell you what it's going to replace. Or, if you like, you can drag it into the layers window and I could say replace there. But you've got to wait for that little arrow to appear. If it's not there and you've got a plus icon, it will add it. But I'm going to drag it into the canvas and drop it here where it says replace me. And you can see straight away the movies replace the drop zone and the clone layer underneath is updated. If I do the same with another movie, I drag this car onto the second drop zone, you can see that the clone layer is updating as well. If I change the movie and I drag a different movie on to drop zone 1, which is that one there, replace me 1, you can see it updates there as well. If I drag the playhead again along, you can see they're now playing in the reflections as well. Coming back and turning my text back on, so if I wanted to change this text one, I can move onto the screen here and just double click the text on screen and type something in, car one, and then hit escape on my keyboard. And that's now updated that as well.